right, we have that the average runtime of a MacBook Air is six hours with a standard deviation of one hour. So let's go ahead, take note of that. Those are gonna become important numbers. Now suppose the frequency distribution of the runtime of all MacBook Airs is known to be bell-shaped. All right, so we know we're looking at a normal distribution. All right, what percentage approximate the, approximates the MacBook Airs that run for less than five hours? All right, I've got a P word here. I'm going to probability, and I want less than five hours. All right, so my variable in this case is these MacBook Air run times. And it looks like the units are hours. I am told that this is basically normally distributed with a center of six and a standard deviation of one. And I want the probability that I'm gonna run for less than five hours. So this is a normal CDF calculation. So we're gonna run normal CDF. We're gonna go low, high, mean, standard deviation. Now, just for fun, I always like to write the graph of these things. So if I think about this graph, Right, so there would be a six under here, and here's five, which is also happens to be exactly one standard deviation below the mean, and I want this area. Now, just from the empirical rule, again, keep in mind, if this is the 50th percentile, and I lose that 34% here from the empirical rule, this is gonna be the 16th percentile. So I'm already guessing that my answer is 16, but I can go ahead and run it, if, let's head over to our calculators and try this out. Let me clear this out. So we got normal CDF, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go negative infinity to my upper bound, so low to high, right? Negative infinity to five, and six and one were the mean and standard deviation, and we get about 16%, so 0.159. All right, so this is 0.159, which is closest to 16%. All right, there we go. Thanks so much, everyone.